In the latest development in the bone-chilling rape and murder of the RG Corps postgraduate trainee doctor, the post-mortem report has been handed over to the family of the victim. The final autopsy report has revealed further details of the brutal attack on the girl. She was in the seminar hall on that fateful night. She spoke to her family over the phone, had dinner with her fellow students, and then went ahead to take rest. And it is during that very time that this incident has occurred. The report has suggested that the death to be homicidal and antimortem, meaning that she was dead before she was found. And it also mentioned the time of the death to be between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. West Bengal Chief Minister has said that if the Kolkata police is unable to nab all the culprits involved in this case by Sunday, the case will be transferred to the CBI. She met the victim's family yesterday and has assured them that this case shall be taken to the fast-track court. Let's take a look at what exactly was said by the Chief Minister while she briefed the press yesterday. If all the culprits aren't nabbed by Sunday, we shall transfer the investigation to the CBI. I have no problem with this. But their success rate has been quite low in the past. However, for the satisfaction of the general public and the protesters, I will transfer the case to them on Sunday. There is no doubt that the Kolkata police, however, is the best in the world in terms of the probes they conduct. We have put our best officers forward in this case, equipped with all the resources available. Sandeep Ghosh resigned under the current circumstances, but we told him that he doesn't have to work there and that we will transfer him. We have already moved the MSVP and the head of the chess department because of negligence. Polis, who was in the ACP post during that time, has also been removed. Forensics, dog squad, video team, everyone has been called in to help in the investigation. Well, with that now, we are cutting across to our colleague Ravi Shankar, who is joining us on the broadcast to bring us more details with regards to what's currently underway at this hour on this story. Ravi, a very good morning to you, very firstly. There's a lot that's going on in terms of probe. There are several angles that's coming to the front at this given point. In fact, previously, you mentioned to my colleague as well that there's a possible angle of a racket that's also being investigated into at this given point. What steps are being taken by the government and the hospital administration other than these resignations we have seen? Because very honestly, these aren't just resignations that we see are permanent resignations. Shandeep Ghosh yesterday said that he's resigning from the government services. But then hours later, just four hours later, we see him being transferred as a head of the National College in West Bengal. Where, where is this probe headed? And at this given point of time, the pressure is mounting on the Chief Minister to transfer the case to the CBI today or tomorrow itself. Why wait for Sunday? These are some very pertinent questions being raised about this very given case at this hour. Please help us understand what's unfolding in Kolkata right now. Basically, if we go back to the analysis of the rape and murder case, it's not just a mere... Uh, rape and murder out of grudge or out of something. It's a planned thing and it has been done very planned thing after stalking the doctor, after raking the situation and after raking the whole thing that how she, how her movement was. Why am I saying, saying so? Uh, the first time when uh, this incident happened, hospital and police called up the parents of the victim and said that hey, their child has committed suicide. So hmm. how can a doctor who is a medical practitioner or police who itself investigates any story say that uh, this is a suicide? Now came the preliminary post-mortem report that was viral. They are showed that multiple injuries were there. So it was very clear that this is not a suicidal case because in suicidal case, self, such self-injuries can't be done. Now, hmm. the police gave a statement saying that uh, it was a uh, murder after that rape which was initially uh, 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 a pathway to prove that the, uh, the person who killed uh, the girl was a psychopath. So initially it was uh, 
मेंटल आउट ऑफ समथिंग मेंटल ट्रॉमा और आउट ऑफ समथिंग मेंटल डिस्टर्बेंस ही डेट दैट बट अगेन द लास्ट विजेड रिपोर्ट दैट केम आउट इट इनिशियली प्रूव दैट देयर वाज अ रेप देन देयर वाज अ टॉर्चर देन देयर वाज अ मर्डर सो द मर्डर वाज डन टू कंफर्म द रेप सो दैट द विक्टिम डजंट सरवाइव टू गिव हर स्टेटमेंट and when the things has done uh, has been done there was no sound there was no uh, other kind of uh, things but there was a huge uh, tussle between the uh, persons those who had committed the crime why so because the victim who had died her nail uh, her nail suggests that there was keen and there was uh, uh, here on on her uh, on her nails that is being tested for dna sampling hmm. now the thing is if this is a rape and murder so the question arises from the chat and the, from the uh, audio calls that we have published in our channel who are talking about the uh, murder before the murder happened because there are chats we suggest that he yesterday i mean tomorrow he will come to know that when one, one doctor is saying to the other doctor tomorrow will come to know about something very serious that he will not be able to die now the next chat says that we are creating monsters and we are failing as a teacher now the audio call that is being circulated they say that this person uh, the, the, the who has been arrested uh, in the rape and murder case sanjay roy yes a bigger yeah sanjay yeah. roy a bigger bigger picture is hiding behind whom the authority are trying to hide who are those people and the junior doctor clearly said that he, even though we are junior doctors please still we are doing the ndbs and talking to the pgt they said that he, uh we can understand from the brutality of the thing and from the uh the evidences that we got that this is not the work of a individual person there has been a group of people or more than uh, one individual so was it like so that uh, the uh, person who read and someone was there who was keeping the hand and uh, face of this uh, lady blocked by her hand and there was a pressure so that she couldn't uh, scream she couldn't uh, give the fight she needed to fight so what happened why was she murder like this what was the plan what was the plan so this is the question is arise so there are evidences that are coming up there are speculations that are coming up and he she came to knew something about a racket a medicine racket or a surgery racket or something like that that was a very vulnerable to the authority or or a certain group of people so to stop her from uh, being uh, coming forward and being vocal she was raped and murdered but why the brutality was was there was a conversation before this thing happened was she very mm. fearful about what her uh, future can be and uh, this is what the things are being speculated why if this things had been done and she was seriously intimated right. that if you do this kind of thing you will be murdered she tried to vocal and she told her parents that i don't want to do the night duty in the arjikar hospital and why was she so deliberate to change her duty shift so Because so ravi i am sorry i'm going to interrupt you there help us understand if there was if there was already such a threat looming large on her head at that given point where she'd communicated to her parents which means there are other students which were also aware of it they're now coming up and saying that yes this was a case these are the uh, suggestions they are making that yes there was a probable racket or, which she had an information about what were the hospital authorities doing at this given point why was there no action taken by them that is the big question that's coming to the fore right now See, basically the racket the racket itself is of the hospital authority that as it is being uh, coming forward so who are involved a group of section of people are if they are involved in the whole thing what was the racket going on if she was intimated with the threat that this kind of things can happen what was the scam going on behind these are the questions that are not being answered now people those who are saying that hey, we are not responsible as one of the interns go to the seminar room and uh, she fits out there uh, out of her duty after 36 hours it is in question that who opened the seminar room why the seminar room was open when there was no seminar why the seminar room had no cctv why she when she went there and slept there how can a person who is staying outside knew that she was in the seminar room that means that she was raped every day her movement was judged and talking to the parents and talking to the thing it uh, i mean the the friends of uh, she had everybody said that she was intimidated with some state what is the state why are people that the, the, basically we uh, tv9 we are not saying anything the the evidence that are coming up it clearly suggests that the talk that uh, two 
doctors, one senior, one junior, they are having among themselves. They say that the Ajikor has a clear history of suppressing the tax. Right. We are on the record. Right. Yes. Ravi, in I fact, I, I'm sorry, I'll have to interrupt you there again because we're running completely out of time. But before we go, I have to ask you this one last question about what is the center's reaction on this? There's a letter that's gone out by the IMA to JP Nadda as well, the Union Health Minister. Has the center so far come out with any response with regards to this case? A short brief answer from you on that, please. See, basically, uh, out of when this letter uh, went to JP Nanda, a team from National Women Commission has uh, come as because there is no chairperson, but the team it has come and they have gone to the administrative building where they are sitting inside discussing the whole thing and I mean interrogating the whole thing. After they come uh, out, we will able to know what actually National Women Commission thinks. Those who have visited Arjika Hospital regarding this incident and what they think, what are the what are they are saying they were going to take. This will be answered shortly once they come out. Right, Ravi. Thank you so much for bringing us all those details into this rather brutal story, a gruesome attack that's taken place. Several questions coming to the fore. The main one being, why the brutality, why such brutality inflicted upon a trainee doctor, a woman, a member of the medical fraternity? This is the question that's being raised by the doctors at this given point as they cry for justice for this trainee doctor and the rape and murder that's been conducted, the brutal crime that's been conducted in the city of Kolkata.